who are going through that journey, that um, they feel God's presence there with them. And we do that, like I said, through the care packages, and we do that through the cards of hope. Now the card, the care packages, I have one sample sitting here. Um, this is a sample of what all goes into a care package. A care package is about a $75 value. It's $100 to support a cancer patient for a year. I just want to write, take a minute here to say thank you so much for your financial donations. Um, we could not do what we do without wonderful people like you. Um, but this is a sample of what goes into a care package. You'll see that the box is hand decorated. Uh, this is one of the things that Donna says she loves so much about it. Um, they are hand decorated by volunteers, uh, children and adults alike. Um, we have stencils, so you don't need to feel like you can't, can't come and decorate boxes. We do have some artists who do free handing on the boxes. So every box is unique. Every box is different. Um, so this is our box. And in the box, we put water bottle, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, Kleenex, uh, lip balm, puzzle book. How many of you have ever heard of chemo grain? Have you ever heard of that? It's a very real thing. Uh, chemo brain is when they're going through uh, their chemo treatments, it can sometimes really cause you to have a, a foggy brain, um, you can't think clearly. So not only does a puzzle book help pass the time, but it also helps to try to keep sharp and keep clear. So we put a puzzle book in every care package. We put a journal in every care package. The journal can be store-bought, it can be, um, this is actually just the composition book that they took and decorated to make it more personal. Um, and the journal is used for very various things. It can be used to just write their thoughts and their prayers and, and that. Sometimes it's used to write down some of the things we don't want out of other people to hear us say, but we got to get it out of our head. Have you ever had that where you were going through something and you're Things are coming in your head. The devil uses those times to really, you know, um, get a foothold. And so a journal can be a place where they can write all those things down and then get rid of it. Um, sometimes they use it when they're going through a doctor's appointments for all their medications and what they need to do. But I have a really touch this story. We had a woman call us and she said her husband got his care package, loved, loved the care package. She said, when he found out he was not going to be healed on this side of heaven, he wrote all his funeral arrangements in his journal. And it just meant so much that they actually, took, at his funeral, they took that journal and that was the death sign in his face. Because it meant that much to him. Because it, those friends was the hands and feet of Christ to him. So, we put in that. We put fuzzy, fuzzy socks for the women's care packages. Um, Sorry guys, we don't have fuzzy socks on the guys. There's just no cute fuzzy socks for you guys, so sorry about that. Um, we do put a hat in every care package. These hats can be crocheted, quilted, knitted, store-bought. And then we put a blanket in every care package. Again, the blanket can be um, a fleece tie like this. It can be crocheted, it can be knitted, it can be quilted, it can be store-bought. Um, yeah, so, so we put blankets. We do ask that the blankets be approximately 40 by 50 because cancer patients are cold. If you know anything about cancer treatments, you know they, they get just really cold no matter where they're at. And um, so we want to make sure that we can cover them up. We love the prayer shawls and the lap blankets, but they're just not big enough. So we need to have this big. Another um, touching story, and we've actually had this happen to us twice. Um, we had a family member call and say that their loved one loved the blanket, but had passed, loved the care package, but had passed away. And they loved their blanket, they would go nowhere without their blanket. They went to treatment, they went visiting, anywhere they went, they, if they had to go to the hospital, they'd take their blanket with them. And they, they actually asked to be buried with their close friend's blanket. It's just a blanket. 
but it's not just the blanket because you know what? It's, it's the love of Christ. It's the hands and feet of Christ. So you put that in. Um, amongst other things, we have a water bottle here. We, we put our handmade cards in. Um, one of the other things we've been putting in is, if you know anything about cancer patients, they get a port put in. In that port is where they will get their infusions, they get their blood draws, they get everything out of that. Um, and that silly thing sticks out a little bit, becomes very sensitive, and happens to be right where the seatbelt goes in your car. So what we also put in is a port pillow. It velcros right to the seatbelt and protects that port right there. We love to put in as many handmade items as we possibly can put in a care package because, again, um, it's just the hands and feet of Christ. One of the most important things that we put in every care package is we put a Bible. We are faith-based. We are Christ-centered, and that, that is who we are, and we put a Bible in every care package. In the children's care packages, they will get um, age-appropriate Bibles. They will also get all these items plus extra things like uh, stuffed animals, puzzles, games, Play-Doh, coloring books, that kind of, of thing. Um, but they get an age-appropriate Bible. But that is, um, that is the of being the hands and feet of Christ. Like I said, once they get the care package, they will begin to receive monthly cards of hope. Now these cards of hope, these are just silly dad joke cards. Do you like dad joke cards? Um, what happened to the dog that swallowed the watch? Have any idea? He got ticked, okay? So these are colored and um, written in by people all over the country. These are printable right off of our website. Um, so you can print them off and do them at home, you can do them at church, do them anywhere. Um, there is some guidelines on there. We do ask that you don't write get well soon or you've got this because they may not be going to be better. They may be in hospice. Um, you'll see that there is scripture on them. Um, again, we are Christ-centered. We make no bones about that fact. And then we ask that you put your first name only, your age, and your state. This one was done by Emma who's 11 and lives in Indiana. I'll give you one more roll. What did the nut say when it sneezed? Cachu. 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 So this one was done, um, and it says, Dear friends, we pray for you. And it was done by Lucas, who's nine. He lives in the USA. Do you know that? Okay. Now, we ship out on a normal basis. We will ship out anywhere from 85 to 135 care packages a week. The last three weeks, four weeks actually, we have tripled that number. We, are, we had a week that we had 353 going out the door, 285. The other week was 288. So if you think about that, that's 288 blankets, 288 Bibles, 288 um, toothbrushes. It's a lot of stuff, right? Um, our cards of hope, we, on average, we mail out almost 6,000 cards of hope a month. Again, we can't do that without your help. Um, one quick story also about the care package. Um, you guys are close enough. You, you, you remember, have gone to the Touch of Dutch Festival in Damas. I was there with a booth uh, about two years ago. And this woman came up to the booth and she said to me, she says, you know, I got to tell you a good story. She says, I'm sure you hear bad stories and tough stories all the time, but she says, I want to tell you a good one. She says, I requested a care package for my best friend's husband. Um, he was not a Christian. Um, but he got his care package and he loved everything in it, but he took that Bible and he laid it off to the side. She said, then he started to get the cards of hope in the middle. And they made him laugh, they made him chuckle. And there was scripture on that. 
And you know, he started to pick up that Bible and he started to read that Bible. And she said he gave his life to Christ three days before he passed away. That is what Phil's Friends is all about. Letting people know that God loves them, that he is there with them, that he is, he is the great physician, and that they can give their life to him and, and have that peace that passes all understanding. That is who we are. That is love. Your third, your, your second um, word there is love. This is how you can show love by helping provide different things. Um, the majority of what goes in our care packages is all donated to us. We don't purchase it. It's donated um, and it just comes at just the right time. God is always providing what we need. When we had that 353 care package week, we weren't sure how we were going to get that done. And stuff just came through the door and we were able to get it done. I've had it before where we may be totally out of something. And in fact, I was leading a group and we had no, no puzzle books. And not that we could, we could ship without puzzle books. But I had a gift card from somebody and I was gonna, I had my coworker ready. I said, once everybody's here and we get them started, you run to the dollar store and get some puzzle books. And I'll give the presentation and, and we'll do what we need to do. And she said, okay, she, she stuffs the gift card in her, in her pocket. And as the people are coming in, here comes a woman and she's got this box. And she said, here's a case of puzzle books. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so Abby gives me the uh, gift card back. She says, I guess I don't need to go. So that is, that is how God works. We had a request one time for someone who loved um, Disney and Mickey Mouse. And usually we will have something, whether it's a blanket or a, or, um, a box that's decorated like that or anything. We had nothing, nothing. But we had the group and we, we gathered everybody around, we prayed over the care packages and that box happened to still be open because we hadn't had a chance to finish it up. And as we're praying and laying hands on the boxes, we hear the, the, the front door open, we have some dolls on the front door. And the group leader goes to the front and she, she comes back with a bag. And as we're praying, she, she prays, Thank you, Lord, for the Mickey Mouse blanket. <laughs> it's like, okay, how did that happen? That, that's by, by God's grace, right? By God's provision. And the woman who gave it to her said, I've been driving around with this in my car for a couple weeks. My daughter did this as a service hours, and I've been driving around for a couple weeks. And I saw you were open, so I thought I'd come and drop it off. That's how God works, right? So... Like I said, one of the ways that you can help is, is by helping to purchase the items that we, that we collect. Yeah. Another way is you, the, the amount of people here, you guys could schedule a um, group session. We have individual, individual walk-in hours, so you can come in by yourself. And what you do during an individual hour is you help decorate boxes, you'll tie blankets if we have the fleece ready and tied. We do not buy the fleece. All that fleece is donated to us, but we have people who will cut the blankets and get them ready for volunteers to come in and tie. So you can tie a blanket, you can color a box, you can assemble care packages, you can color cards of hope. There's a wide gamut of things that you can do while you're there. Um, if you wanted to come individually or if you wanted to come to the church, Donna, you would, you would love to have your church come in. We do have some churches that actually come in once a month together. It's kind of their service hour. To request a care package, all you need to do is go right to our, our website and request it there. Like I said, we ship them anywhere in the United States for free. They do go anonymously, so um, if you want the person to know, you need to let them know. Uh, we, do, we do not let them know, but it works well if you have that cranky neighbor next door that has cancer and you want to get a Bible in their hand, but you don't want them to know it came from you. It goes anonymously, so they'll have no idea. I also have forms here if you have somebody today that you know about. Um, 
you can fill it out today when you do it online or if you do it on here there is a place for you to write notes and what we ask for in there is what are their interests what do they like they love the color purple they're a bears fan right yeah 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 okay um they love to garden we will do our best that we can do to uh, personalize it as best we can um, we can't always guarantee it but we will do our best to try to do that so make sure that you request the care packages okay now every one of our care packages will impact five to seven people in that person's circle so we have we have um, we have shipped up, we had actually in November, we hit our 50,000th care package. That means we've impacted over 250,000 people for being a little organization. And again, that's just being the hands and feet of Christ. But I have always said that Phil's Friends is a two-sided ministry. It is about the patients and the caregivers and families and the friends and all those around that patient. But it is also about the volunteers and the donors who are able to give of themselves to bless others. Many of you have gifts and talents that God has given you. Maybe it is artistry. Maybe it is the gift of, um, of sewing. Maybe it's you know the gift of just compassion, those kinds of gifts. Um, Phil's Friends needs your help. And this is a place for you to be able to use those gifts and talents that God gave you to bless others. I do have a partnership guide up here if you're interested. Um, it is a very comprehensive book that talks all about, tells you who Phil is, gives you a picture of him and his family, um, testimonies, um, just and then just the many ways how to request a care package, how um, coloring cards of hope, making um, donation drive, making blankets, <coughs> doing our, our handmade cards, or, or uh, decorating journals. That journal is just a silly composition book that you get for 50 cents, and that yet it's so personable by decorating them. Just many, many different ways that you can help us out. Um, I would love to have you guys into the Hope Center, but I would love it if you wanted to do something here, we could do something here too. Um, so that is what Phil's Friends is. Uh, again, I thank you so much for your past financial support because that is a big thing that we need also. Um, like I said, we do ship these care packages free, but it's free to you, it's not free to us. We do our best to be good stewards of the money God gives us, so I do a lot of dealing with FedEx and UPS and that, but um, you know, we do need the financial support also. So I will be here for coffee time, so if you have any questions, I would love to answer your questions. But again, thank you so much for praying, giving love, and giving. Um, whether you give it to Phil's friends or to those around you or in any other ministry, thank you so much for doing that and being Christ ambas ambassadors to others. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, Judy. And I'm going to, um, one of the things that I'm hoping we can do during Lent, I think the idea of Lent is to rise above yourself, to move beyond, to move beyond your own life and to move into the lives of others. And quite frankly, I think this would be a wonderful and very grace-inspired mission for this congregation to begin during Lent. Now, everyone here can do something. In fact, this, this can be and will be our Lenten initiative. Everyone in this congregation can, can help with prayer, as she mentioned, can help with packing, can help with preparation of the cards. There is no barrier. And that is really the beauty of a Lenten devotion, is that it calls us each, as Judy said, to, to take those gifts that God has given us and share them. We are given gifts to build up one another, to be the hands and the feet of Christ in the world. And so let's look at how during Lent, 
everyone in this congregation would be a part of this ministry. I have often, you know, since the food pantry moved to Hebrew United Methodist Church, I have felt we needed a mission focus. We needed a mission center. We needed something to call us to rise above ourselves, and that's not being critical, because I need that too. And during Lent, there's no better time, and I think it's great. It's a time of prayer, it's a time of love, and it's a time of giving. For every gift you've received is to be given. That's the nature of God's gifts. And so, thank you again, and uh, we will be in touch. Please join me in our closing prayer, which can be found inside your bulletin. Almighty God, send us forth this day to reveal your compassion, your grace, your mercy, and your abiding love to all people everywhere. Lead us to be the light of Christ to all people, all who grieve, and all who cry out to know and experience your reconciling grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Please join us in our closing hymn, Victory in Jesus, page 370, and it'll be verses 1, 2, and 3.
thank you all. And again, Judy, thank you so much. Uh, that's a wonderful ministry that we will be a part of. I can guarantee you that. Um, and thank you. And for the wonderful job as liturgists, Donna and Adam for the music, and Donna for introducing us to the And it's my blessing now to ask us each to recall the many blessings that God has given us. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ fill your hearts in ways that challenge, transform, and guide. May the love of God embrace you as you go forth in this world, causing you to know that you are messengers of the gospel. And in every relationship you have, every act of compassion you show, every prayer that is lifted for another, may you do so in full communion with God's Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And now we conclude as we do each time we end our service with a powerful affirmation. We are people loved by God. May we live as a sign to the world of God's love. Um, I've asked Donna to select special music. And I'm not sure which one we selected. Um, we'll like the Very good. All right. I think you will enjoy this song. Very meaningful. And certainly something to reflect upon, given the message we've just heard.